from American actors who became governors, the former, later elected president, the latter known for the phrase, I'll be back, to Chima and Chinua, two of Africa's most famous authors who, though not related by some freaky coincidence, lived in the same house several years apart. And sadly, things did fall apart. Two American T. Ribs and German M. Schumacher, Formula One aficionados, born on the same day. From America's first black ballerina to Robert Ballard. From Indian author, teacher of yoga, BKS Inyenga, who reminds us that we are not getting any younger. Two the drama in Bahama, and the rumble in the jungle, a killer and a chiller and the thriller in Manila, to Malala and Lilibeth, the former whose son almost set in the SWAT district from an assassin's bullet, the latter, her royal majesty, whose empire, the son, it was said, never set, to the exquisite beauty of our expansive, expanding, and majestic universe. Whatever takes your fancy, there's something for everyone right here, right now. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sotonye Afiasimama, and this is Today in History for January 19th. So, coming up in today's Today in History. So yesterday we talked about Winnie the Pooh, today it's Edgar Allan Poe. We're also going to talk about one French artist and one Swiss artist, a female country singer and snow in the Caribbean. Can you believe that? It's a fascinating journey today. Join me as we journey through time in today's Today in History. First, we should start with Mr. Edgar Allan Poe. So who was Edgar Allan Poe? Sounds a bit like Winnie the Pooh, but no, this is Edgar Allan Poe. He was an American short story writer. He was a poet, a critic, and an editor, famous for his cultivation of mystery and the macabre. So Edgar Allan Poe, pictured here, was born on this day in 18. Oh, nine. So this is a picture of Edgar Allan Poe, signed picture of Edgar Allan Poe, an American short story writer, poet, critic, and editor, famous for his cultivation of mystery and the macabre, born on this day in 1809. Sixteen years later, in 1825, the duo one of whom is pictured here. His name is Ezra Daget, D-A-G-G-E-T-T. -T. My assumption is, is that it's pronounced Daget and not Daget. But yes, Ezra Daget and Thomas Kensett obtained a patent for a preservation process used to store food in tin cans. So this, obviously, most of us know what this is, you know. So these are the guys who are one of whom is pictured here. Couldn't find a picture of um, Thomas Kensett, but this is Ezra Dajet or Dajet, who obtained a patent for preservation process used to store food in tin cans. So this is something that affects most people in the Western world. I mean, billions of people around the world, actually, but more, especially in the Western world, and most of us have our food in tins these days, you know, tomatoes and peas and so on and so forth. Very good for preservation of food. Okay, so, born on this day, I did promise I would feature this artist. His name is Paul Cezanne. The year was 1839, the same year that the daguerreotype was made public. The artist Paul Cezanne was born. He was a French artist, and this is a self-portrait of Paul Cezanne behind this canvas, the picture of Paul Cezanne, another self-portrait. So 
No problem. Pause is on. Picture again. And it's another painting of his. Two men playing cards. One smoking. It's another painting of his as well. Okay, so Paul Cezanne, born on this day in 1839. He was a French artist. Also born on this day, also an artist. Sophie Henriette Gertrude Tober Arp. He was a Swiss artist, painter, sculptor, textile designer, furniture and interior designer, architect, and dan dancer. Can you believe that? Born on this day in 1889 in Switzerland, she was the daughter of a pharmacist. This is a multi-talented lady. Um, yeah, there was a name for that a few days ago. Um, I'm trying to remember the name now. Someone, a, a polymath. So yeah, she would. You could class her as a polymath, I guess. Architect, designer. Okay, these are related fields. Maybe, maybe she was a polymath, maybe not, but yeah, she was multi-talented for sure. So this is some of her artwork. Her name again is Sophie Henriette Ketrud. Born on this day in 1889. Okay, so let's move on to the next important event on this day, the year was 1918, and this guy, Johnson A. Johnson, publisher of Ebony Magazine, was born in Arkansas City, Arkansas State, in the United States of America. Johnson was the first black person to appear on the Forbes 400 rich list. So Johnson H. Johnson, pictured here on the cover of his magazine, born on this day in 1918. Sadly, he passed on, as you can see from this picture, in 2005. So this is the cover of Ebony celebrating the life and legacy of Johnson H. Johnson. 1943 was a year. American singer Janice Joplin, who was known for her fierce and unhibited musical style, was born. Yes, yeah, so you can see that this, this painting sort of um, celebrates her character, um, her personality, if you like which I quite like, you know, it's a bit psychedelic, you know, bright colors, um, the lettering, swirly lettering, you know, just flowing everywhere. Quite nice, quite nice. So this is Janice Joplin, or Janice Joplin, who was known for a fierce and unhibited musical style, born on this day in 1943. She was, she's an American musician, American singer. In 1946, three years later, this lady is only three years older than Dolly Parton. So it's happy birthday, Dolly Parton. Dolly Parton was born on this day in 1946. She is an American country music singer, guitarist, and actress, best known for pioneering the interface between country and pop music styles. So happy birthday, Dolly Parton. So this is Dolly Parton picture here. Born on this day, this reminds me of her song with my coat of many colors. I guess that's why she, she bought this. And uh, yeah, my coat of many colors, my mama made for me. So Dolly Parton, happy birthday, born on this day in 1946. Nine years later, history was made. The year was 1955. US President Dwight Eisenhower held the first ever televised presidential press conference. So this is a picture, and um, if I just move this a bit, you can see the curves of the old-fashioned TV. Look at the corners of this frame. And then, um, yeah, so this was the first televised press conference by a U.S. president, and that was by Dwight Eisenhower. This was the day, and the year was 1955. Also on this day in 1969, 14 years later, Trey Lorenz, pictured here, was born in Florence, South Carolina. He's most well known for the hit single, Someone to Hold, and his cover of the Jackson 5's I'll Be There, featuring Mariah Carey, taken from Mariah's MTV Unplugged appearance. He's featured, he's a featured background vocalist for Mariah Carey and other artists. So this is Trey Lorenz, 
who was born on this day in 1969. He's 52 years old today. Happy birthday, Trey Lorenz. Also born on this day, he's 50 years old today, Sean Wyant, pictured here. Actor born in New York City, New York State. He is best known for films such as Scary Movie, White Chicks, and television series Living in, in Living Color. So this is Sean Wyans, born on this day in New York City, New York State. 50 years old today. Happy birthday, Sean Wyans. Best known for the films Scary Movie, White Chicks, and also the television series In Living Color. Six years later, 1977, first time in recorded history that snow fell in this Caribbean nation. So it was the Bahamas, yes. I did mention this at the outset as well. Yes. So strangely, you can see the dusting of snow if you look closely at this picture. Snow fell on the Bahamas. Obviously, you don't expect thick snow you know, in a place like this. Um, snow falling for the first time in recorded history. It's not like it with thick snow. So the dusting of snow fell in Bahamas in the Bahamas on this day in 1977, the first time in recorded history. So it doesn't mean it hasn't happened before, this, but this was the first time that it was recorded. Snow fell in this Caribbean nation. 1977 was the year, and the 19th of January was the day. Last but not least, the year was 2000. Austrian-born actress Hedy Lamarr who was often typecast as a provocative femme fatale and later achieved recognition as a noted inventor of a radio communications device, died in Florida. So this woman was quite intelligent. You know, she wasn't only an actress. She was also an inventor of a radio communications device. So this, again, is Hedy Lamar, who died on this day 21 years ago. On that note, we have come to the end of today's Today in History. But before you go anywhere, coming up in tomorrow's Today in History, he amassed the world's largest privately owned shipping fleet. Don't Google this up, guys, or don't go to Bing. Just wait till tomorrow. It was swearing in day for three. That's the second puzzle. The third one, a famous, very talented actress from Belgium. So ponder over those questions and we shall see tomorrow so until tomorrow stay safe and then um, take care of yourself don't forget to like share and subscribe as well i would really really appreciate it it just helps push my video to more nerds <laughs> like you and me all right take care have a fantastic day and i shall see you tomorrow